Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 22, part 15 of my Let's Play of Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, now with our lines now connecting into Belgium and into Britain, we're finally able to bring out some of the commodities that were sorely needed. As in this episode, we're going to get started on transporting supplies and passengers to Charloli of Belgium as well as serving this chocolate factory. Now, the chocolate factory requires three loads of coffee, cocoa beans, one load of sugar, and one load of milk, which will produce five loads of chocolate bean, no, chocolate bars. And since chocolate is only needed in one location, it's easy to see on what track will be used for that. We'll place down a five-track, 320-meter cargo station here. This will give us a good coverage for Trenton. Let's see. I'll be good. And then we'll place down a four-track sta passenger station here. As now, with a connection to Belgium, we could also run a passenger service to the port. But first of all, I gotta make sure the station looks presentable. that done, then we'll basically remove the underground walkways as this is going to be a passenger station and people can easily access their platform from the main passenger terminal. Then we'll place down a couple of these roofs. Now, all we need to do is just connect this to the main line. All right. Let's make this track flat. Connect. Connect. Then basically build another track to connect to this and add this. And of course, I gotta have this crossover piece here. Hmm. We could basically build this area. Actually, we could basically reuse the same track that we did for our coal train in the previous episode and just double track it. And it will split off from the main line to br that coal branch will basically split off from here. by the switch. What we just have to do is just get rid of this, and then we'll place down the signals for the branch. Not what I was ex thinking originally when I first started this map, but if it works, it works. We'll place down a couple of signals for the coal branch, and then just place up more signals, and eventually do this. First of all, making sure this is a cutting, not a tunnel. Connect here, and then let's get started on the passenger track.
connect and connect. And that should basically do it. Flat this. Turn this into a cunny again. And voila! It's done. Let's move out the terrain a bit to make it a little more pretty. And then let's add the signals to the line. That looks good. Of course. Well, I'm basically not gonna. This time I'm ex connecting this section of track to to a freight line to an own to a freight line only. So people will have to be transferred from one platform to another. Hmm. Well, I guess I can basically. Build an extension this way. I don't like the sound of that. Seems like one of my industries has gone down and production levels have gone down. We'll basically build around REMS and then just expand through this valley. Passing through these grain fields. Turn to the right, no, to the left, and then connect here. Perfect. This will at least give people a chance to leave um, Belgium and able to connect to an express bound for the coast. Here and here, here and here, and then finally this section here. Alright, that should basically do it for the extension. Now let's get some new services set up. First of all, since these trains are, since I need one platform to pick up loads of coffee, beans, and sugar. I'll have to basically make one of the train freight trains to drop off supplies onto a different platform. As I'll reserve platform two at the Harv's at the yard of the Hog, primarily to, for storage, for picking up coffee, beans, and sugar. You will be going on track three, your blue. And full load entirely of, of basically coffee, beans, and sugar. But you're only going to have 50% of it and 50%. And you're going to unload. You're going to be freight train Q, which is sugar and Co uh, I actually forgotten how to spell cocoa beans. There we go. And Thankfully, there's a dairy farm located not too far from the from the Belgium extension. All we just have to do is just connect it to the main line like so. If I can find a good spot. And then just connect it to the main line here. Double 
slip switch it. And you will basically have a little dwarf signal. Now, considering there's more than one milk train now, this will be milk, and this one will be used for cheese. Well, you pick up milk, deliver it here on track four, and you'll be freight train L2, which will be milk for chocolate bars. Let's see. There we go. Ten minutes. You'll unload here. And, now with a connection made to another town... Hmm. I actually forgotten to build this Y track. Looks a bit odd. And it doesn't have a lot of space, but if it helps me deliver loads of well meat, I'm up for it. This will be freight. R, which will be meat. Blue, full load, 10 minutes. And you will basically drop it off on platform 1. Alright. Let's see. That should basically be everything. Now let's get some new... Oh, of course, I forgot to add the new passenger services. Now then, let's see. This will probably be another limited train. They could easily catch a connection to one of the local trains bound for their final destination. But of course... I want to make sure they'll have a connection to a part, to the boats as well. So, I'm going to build another Y, so the express train can easily travel to Calais to catch the ferry to England. Place down another set of signals. And then we'll set up a new service on... Tr on Track 4. You'll stop for Lily, and then go to Calais, and then back to Lily again. You'll go on Platform 1, you go to Platform 2. This will basically be Express Rain G. Alright. You will be picking up passengers on track four. And now I have to set up a new local service. Let's see. This will be local. 
local train s and this one would be local train t That should basically do it for our new services. Now, we gotta get some new equipment. Alright, let's see. First of all, I'm gonna copy tr Express Train and put it onto the new service. Copy one of the limited trains. Put it on... Limited train C. I'll copy this one and put it in charge of delivering the loads of sugar and cocoa beans. Let's see. Copy this one and put it in charge of the meat train. And copy this train to be in charge of delivering milk to the chocolate factory. With that done, time to add two. I'll copy both of these and put these new trains into work on local train S, local train T. As now with proper destinations connected, hopefully the meat packing plant will now start needing livestock after so long. I mean, I have several destinations that ha that need meat. I have wagons that are designed to carry meat. I don't understand why it's not going to be working. Well, at least my coal train is doing pretty well. I mean, it hasn't made a profit yet, but it will eventually. Plus, there's a lot of food. there's no food being brought in by the ship, brought into the into the ports just yet. But it eventually will happen once I get the chance. There's three passengers already on board the ferry. And there's one already waiting at Lahar. It will take some time, but I'm pretty sure these channel services will probably become a very profitable success. As Calais has now have a connection for passengers wanting to travel to the coast. Well, to England, mostly. Let's see. Yep. Now they're waiting for sugar to be picked up. Sugar and coffee and cocoa beans are now available. Shipment is starting to increase. And now, all we just have to do is just wait. Dairy Farm is now also starting to produce milk. And once that milk is delivered to the factory, it will soon produce some bars of chocolate. And chocolate is needed to impress Luxembourg which requires fish and light bulbs, but it has access to an iron ore mine. However, we're almost basically done with basically impressing Germany. As long as we are able to get these loads of red wine to the market, everything will be hunky-dory. All it just needs is another shipment of glass, which is basically being waiting for pickup here, surprisingly. Shipping is not up, which is not which is okay, I guess. Let's actually have a look at a couple of our routes. Okay, the mo the least profitable one so far is my train B2, delivering sandstone to the glassworks. 
Well, this one, carrying Potash, actually earned about 3.57 million credits. Highest earning Express is for Express Train C. What about my Wagon Convoys? Wagon Convoy H has the most because it's carrying grapes. Most profitable tram service is Trolley Route A1, which is located down here in this little village of Edmonds. And surprisingly, Ship Route A2 is actually making a profit now. But very but Channel Ferry B is actually making a profit at basically 104,000 francs. That's pretty, pretty good. Still, we haven't been able to get any of this cargo delivered to the port. Even though one of my ships has been designed to pick up loads of new food. And then drop it off. And this one, why is it going to platform 4? It needs to go to platform 2. This one is supposed to pick up light bulbs. Wait a minute, where is light bulbs? I don't see it on here. Oh, you have got to be joking. Let me have a look. Cargo. Let's see. No light bulbs. Well then, guess I'll have to switch out this cargo ship, switch out this ship with another one. Because if it can't carry light bulbs, then we're going to be in a bit of a pickle. Alright. Now it will only pick up light bulbs and drop them off in Britain. Same for this ship dropping off food. that in mind, hopefully the food processing plant is now going to start making food for export. It already has a lot of grain already, and it should start producing more baked goods. Let's see. Hmm. Well, it's also high time to get started on another wagon convoy to pick up the loads of chocolate and bring it into the festival. Well, not the festival the exposition. This will be a wagon con boy A3 and this will basically pick up chocolate bars. Chocolates and drop them off. At least there's some cheese being brought in. Then I'll have to set up a new service to pick up the chocolate bars from, from the factory. You will be picking them up on track 5. Full load, 10 minutes. You will pick up loads of chocolate. And bring them down to here. You will be on track 3. Blue. And this one will be Freight Train S. Oh, I put an extra eye onto that meat one. There we go. And this one will be chocolate bars. You'll pick them up, drop them off there, and make sure my wagon convoys do not basically go on the more crowded streets of Perry. I basically will add these waypoints to make sure they will stay off of the busy roads. I just need 200 of these chocolate bars brought into Paris. So, I'll have to purchase another train that will carry at least 210 units. Okay, let's see. 060 and 6 couple tender engine, and a couple of these 5 plank wagons. You will be collecting about 210, well, 210 units of cargo. And you will be in charge of the chocolate bar service. A 
Holy moly, train service C S S actually has 40 passengers waiting for the new service. And there's a lot of people wanting to ride the service that will travel all the way to, to Belgium. Of course, since passengers are traveling from France to Belgium, they'll have to have their passports ready. Let's see. The cold service is still going. There's milk still being made. No sign of meat waiting at the... No sign of meat. Which I don't get. Surely many of these places will start producing livestock by now. Unless I'll have to switch them out with some look equipment that's designed to carry livestock. Oh my goodness sake. Fine, I'll try to using some vanilla equipment instead. This one could only go at 31 miles an hour. These can go out to 60. Alright, we'll just try some of these wagons and see what happens. Wouldn't be too surprised. You have got to be joking. I swapped out the wagons. Uh, oh. Oh, crumbs. I did not realize that. No, you are only picking up livestock. Not milk. Same for you here. You are only picking up livestock. I really don't get it. This is the only butching shop. And I have vehicles waiting to take their loads to market. How am I not making meat? This is just so weird. Speaking of which, how are my industries doing? Let's see. Tra Holy moly. A lot of my industries have 100% transport. That's actually really good. The shipment, the only high shipment is basically the sandstone mine, but the Lahore port is second. <laughs> And the Paris Construction Materials Plant is starting to rise in shipment. Production is still the same on a couple of industries, but it wouldn't be too much longer. Sugar and coffee is... Sugar and cocoa beans are still waiting. There's 27 units plus 6 units of sugar. That's actually pretty, pretty good. I'm gonna make sure it's at 10 minutes this time. It's going to be a little bit of a while before we get some new commodities produced, so I'm going to cut this video right here, and I'll see you all in a moment once the loads of chocolate is being produced, and basically when we start making a lot more money. And we're back. As our train of chocolates rolls into Paris with 174 units of chocolate bars, let's basically look over the some parts of the system that I've basically worked on in the off-air time. One was a new line that connected to the logging cam north of Strasbourg to deliver lumber here to this sawmill to produce lumber. I also restarted delivering iron ore and coal to the Nancy Steel Mill to produce steel, with both steel and lumber heading to the harbor at Calais to be taken away by these two ships across the channel to England on where they'll be dropped off at the machine factory and another ship picking up the machinery and taking it back to Calais to not only be used in the local shops, but to a train known as Freight Train Z to pick up the loads and bring them to these industrial buildings in Paris. Thus, getting us 200 machinery for Britain for Paris. This is basically one of the three bonus tasks that we need to complete. We already got clothing done, but we still need to deliver Lots a thousand... Lots of people want to visit the... Uh, we still need to deliver a thousand passengers to, well, the exposition grounds. All the while, 
I also set up another route for my wagons to go around because this started to become a bit of a bottleneck. So, all my trucks, well, wagons, now pick it up the chocolate. This should basically be a very, very profitable service. So, my trucks. <laughs> Why do I keep saying trucks? They're wagons. These wagons are still waiting for the arrival of, of white wine. All it just needs is just basically a hundred more units and everything should be done. I also set up a new line to basically serve the Sailor's Brook coal mine and also deliver glass as well as white wine grapes to this winery here in Strasbourg. There's already wine waiting to be picked up and three units have finally been picked up by this train which will be taking them straight to Paris. All the while, our account has finally reached into the billions for the first time. With a company score of 42, and basically having quite a lot of money on hand, I'm safe to say that this has been a very successful operation. But once those loads of, well, chocolate arrive at the exposition grounds, I think we'll basically call it a video. Let's see. What else can I do in the meantime? Let's see. There's plenty of coal, plenty of potash, and plenty of sandstone ready to be processed into glass. The mine at Charlot is not producing as much coal as I was anticipating, despite the fact that there's only one destination for this mine. The passenger station at Charlot Central is producing a lot of passengers, and passenger train S is actually quite popular. Our champagne factory actually was producing a lot of great bottles of champagne earlier. And our new services of delivering light bulbs down to REMS is starting to basically become quite a profitable venture. As the last delivery it made, according to finances, was basically about 5.78 million francs, while one delivery was over 7.37 million francs. Safe to say, yet again, I'm rolling in the money. Our trolley system is still doing well, but let's have a look at a couple of our line's balances. Ooh, Freight Train B2 is not making as much money, despite the fact we now have a lot of vehicles on hand on this train. Also, in the off time, I tried to see what would happen if I put another engine from the U from the generic British engines pack, and it turns out the, any extra engine will have the same number. So, to help with this stone train, I'm using one of the Renfei 260 moguls to basically help the rear end on pushing the train. As for the cotton train here, I added one, I added the, the 060 Boyer tank engine on the rear to help with the loads of cotton up the steep grade out of La Havre onto the main line track that will take it to, Ad to Admins. And finally enough for the logs, I basically added not only the Agutsu, O60 good engine as usual, but one of these Redfay O60 tank engines to basically help push. Although the train can only go to a maximum speed of 37 miles an hour, it does have over a 1,330 horsepower, and it does do its job pretty well, as a delivery of logs have turned to 16.4 million francs in revenue. It just takes a little while longer than I anticipated for the arrival of these chocolates. However, here comes some of the chocolates now. On their way along the little byways of France. Plus, with this new service, all my trucks delivering supplies to the fairgrounds can easily bypass the trolley lines. And to make sure I don't accidentally use this one again, I'm taking out these waypoints. So 
though to be honest... I meant to say, to be honest, despite the fact that my trolley system has a lot of passengers riding on this, not many of them are actually going to the exposition grounds. Origi also, since my machine trains are going to go this way, what's the point of having that there? And great. Traffic. But our construction materials plant is at full blast. And all of the other industries are producing a lot of commodities. Unfortunately, though, our export freight of transporting food from, the, from here down to the port and brought over by ship is not basically working. Neither is our meatpacking operation. No matter how much I tried, there is no livestock being brought over to be processed into meat that can be taken to the several towns on the map. All the while, during the off time, I was able to transport enough red wine to finally connect into Germany. But, once we have enough chocolates delivered, we can then connect to Luxembourg and build operations in Luxembourg. Safe to say, my enterprise has become so immaculate. I'm surprised that my company has basically none. Basically, hasn't basically been investigated as a monopoly. Now, let's see. The real estate is still the same as usual. It only degrades down when the time or timer down here is ticking. Though my inventory is declining, but my li liquidity is still up. I'm losing on vehicles. I have no liabilities or debt, and I made over 81 million francs, 81.2 million francs in the previous, in the previous, in the last 12 months. I have over 178 road vehicles, 78 trains, 9 ships, and 12 trams. I have 19,071 meters of tunnel, 9,000 meters. 437 meters of bridge, and over 337 meet house and 326 and 62 meters of track. I transported about 22,240 units of cargo in the 12 past months, and over 611 passengers in the last 12 months. I have 121 lines. And, my, and I transported nine different types of cargo within the span of 12 months. Safe to say, this is basically what happens when you make a very successful transportation empire. As not only my commodities are helping the cities grow, but, however, I'm making a lot of money for it. It turns out the food trains that were being delivered to Beskakan was basically because it did not have a good reach. It only connected to these residential buildings. But thankfully, with this wagon convoy, it was able to deliver the baked goods up to the summit in town to drop them off in the local shops. There's still plenty of chocolate and champagne in the upper Paris truck yard. Mm -hmm. And basically, I just need about four more of these wagons. Wacken convoys to basically deliver the last loads of chocolate in. All right. Let's see, which one has chocolate coming in? Champagne, 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 chocolate. Road vehicle number 161 will be the last vehicle to deliver the chocolate. And I know I'm going to be lagging my game entirely on, their, on my vehicles, but I want to at least try to get the last bits of chocolate brought in. Plus, 
we're making a killing on transporting both sugar and cocoa beans to basically the chocolate factory. As we have so much chocolate, chocolate cocoa beans, sugar, and milk, the factory is actually starting to level up pretty soon. This will mean more chocolate to be produced and more chocolate to be brought over to Paris for the exposition. We still have a lot of glass to produce, and thankfully, I was able to get almost every industry that requires glass for the exposition rounds completed. I'm not so sure if I get... Kind of sad, really, I can't basically determine on how much of a particular cargo I have transferred entirely, as... Basically, it doesn't show, like in Chris Sawyer's Locomotion, for example, does it show on how much of one particular car quantity you have delivered? Like, for example, it doesn't show me that I have delivered like over 200,000 units of coal or 20,000 units of lumber or something like that. But anyway, with the last bits of chocolate now finally arriving in Paris. We could basically call it an end for this episode. Once it unloads, I'm happy to say that we're almost finished with the scenario, as the last thing we need to deliver is white wine, and then the exposition will basically be complete. go. That's all the chocolate needed for the exposition grounds. And now we have access into Luxembourg. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!